Hello again, it's Crystal Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And this is probably just a stage one, and that is a color I made up so many years ago I couldn't possibly tell you what it is. I'm not going to call it pea soup, but okay, I am. I'm going to call it pea soup. Um, it seems like it might be a good alternative to black or white in this case. And I just did a really cool swipe with just hot orchid and gold on a black canvas with a white layer of facilitatory base layer of ribbons. <laughs> I'm searching for words. So my plan is to go ahead and use up the rest of the white Anita's metallic that I mixed up and had too much of, put it in my little scoops, which could just as easily be one of my little plastic sand shovels. And this is, if, I, if it is the base I think it's going to be, and there's a lot more paint on there than I need, then it's going to be for pot, potential, it's going to be for a vine or something that looks like a vine, a swipe that looks like a vine, and possibly bloom flowers when it dries. Not sure what to do with all that. I've got a scrape dish somewhere. There we go. That'll be, that'll be a good thing. <laughs> I just use my scrape dish to get rid of some paint. This is an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. Best paint spreading tool I know of. Really good at picking up paint too, which is what I want to do right about now, except for that one thing that is not paint. I don't know what it was, but it's under my thumbnail now. <laughs> now I'm picking this paint up because I really think that there's going to be plenty of paint on the canvas. Here is my white metallic from Anita's. And I wish I would get the hang of this. You don't really need very much, very many of the, the beginning base layers. You know what I did the last time was tip that. I think I want to do it again. Let it fall right over. Just spread it out a little bit. Right into that green is fine too. It's all usable paint. I think I'm going to do it a couple ways now. I'll go and maybe if I have enough Maybe it's good to experiment with the, the less wide ribbons. I'll use a little bit more. Snag that thing that obviously lived in the paint. I've got some black Amsterdam that has had pre-stained wood conditioner from Minwax added to it as a cell activator. I'm dripping paint, but that's okay. I am going to take the color that I thought I grabbed was going to be a Chrysocolla. And I'm not seeing it. So I will use the emerald green from Decor Americana. Because I want a very contrasting color scheme and although I was ready to use the green gold I think I'll show you it's really really very similar to what I've got on there and I happen to like purple with my green so that's what's going in here right now I was gonna put gold in there but I don't see the point the green gold ought to act just like the gold would. There seems to be a lot of paint. I'm going to put this little container out of my way. Get those out of my way. Throw that in the bucket. And put out some more Amsterdam black. 
And I kind of even wonder if I use the Amsterdam black or if I use the mead and black. I suspect the mead and black would work as well. So I need a nice long stroke. Let's just go all the way through there. Grab my scrape dish again. I am going to, what am I going to do? I am going to do what I did last time and I'm going to strategically place my scrape dish underneath where I'm going to scrape down to. Well, I would have <laughs> if I'd been quicker. That's what tiles are for. This might be really cool with the background that I'm, with the um, flowers added to the background, like I'm thinking. I kind of want a smaller card. kind of want to start at this end. See if I can go back up. Looks like I can. Very viney so far. I did one. I did one that was so uniform it looked like veins. It <laughs> wasn't making me happy when people noticed that. Use my residuals on the on the edges of the canvas. Even if I had long skinny things, there's always tendrils on vines, right? I just need to grab enough paint to make that happen. I like the little extra added additive, extra added accents. I do think I could have used a smaller card. But I am making progress. Let's see if I can become clever. So that's pretty much the end of part one. Oh well, close. Let me grab another tool. I've got a little tool I made. The stick goes all the way down to the bent part. That's just some heavy plastic like you would find on a file folder. And I'm going to try... and use it. And it works. And I also like these because they're really great at touching up the edges of your canvas. And I suspect if I knew how what I was doing, I could probably add a few tendrils here and there. Or even drag some more paint. Do I want to try that? I can't say that I'm really good at it yet, but it's interesting to try. I'm going to grab a little bit more black. As long as I'm here and you're here <laughs> and we're here together. Yeah, I know. I'm weird. I don't mind the black in the background at all, especially since it tends to pick up the, um, the still very wet green. It adds a sort of a dimensional quality to the vines as I fill in, because I'm pretty sure the flowers are going to go in between. I want to steal a little paint. Just use my tool to enlarge one of the vines a little bit. 
scrape off the rest. Use my thumb below. Fill in. How much paint do I have down there? Not that much. I have a smaller one of these I actually prefer. But I figured I made it, I might as well learn how to use it. I could probably touch up my edges. Could have used a little more purple, I think. Yeah, I like the little tendrils. Except for I'm not very good at it yet. I don't like doing things I'm not good at very much. Let's remove the thing that does not belong. Okay. I think a skewer probably would work a whole lot better for me, but it's not going to keep me from continuing on the attempt. Tenuous though it might be, the more I put those in, the happier I get though. Being that the tip is really small, it doesn't cause a lot of interference. I am just picking up a little bit of paint with that. So I guess that's good for now. I have 93,000 subscribers and if you're one of them, please be welcomed. If you've been here for a while, thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you join us. Thank you for all the kind comments and words of encouragement over the years. And uh, know that I appreciate the donations that help keep me painting. And thank you for giving me a thumbs up. Liking my videos is a big help. Watching them longer is a really vast assistance. Uh, sharing them is helpful. Check out my creative playlists on my YouTube channel. All playlists, create a playlist. There's 19 lists of 100 and also listed by topic and genre. If you have a question, ask me. If you need a link, ask me. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to tell you on my community board, also available on my YouTube channel, you're going to find tomorrow's video. If you're looking for tomorrow's video on my Linktree link to my Facebook groups, it's on the Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. It could also be on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more, which is another way to get to my pixels.com and Fine Art America. That green background is really kind of weird, but you know what? I think it's going to be okay once the flowers go on. I love you guys. Looks better from up here than it does in person. I'm not sure what that is. I don't like it. So I could do some more stuff to this, but I, don't, I think it's good enough for right now. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Make sure to check out my Pixels.com, Fire Nerd America, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and my and my uh, my website, all on the link tree below the video. Below the link tree, you'll find my email address. Should you be interested in purchasing an artwork, use the hashtag and the file number in the title of the video. Or if you have an in, an inclination to take a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, um, just use my email. The uh, the link tree. Below the link tree, you'll find my paint pouring recipe when you open Show More, as well as my email address. I think I said if you have questions, please ask me. If you can help me out and you want to shop my Amazon link, my two books are there because I can and unlimited possibilities and lots of tools and great stuff. Paint, canvases, tents, cameras, you name it, it's there. And any shopping you do for my Amazon link is a vast assistance to me eventually at some point in time. There is a monthly drawing and the prizes can be seen on the end screen video that's an exhibition video that changes every month in the last 20 seconds of any video and if you use paypal or patreon icons they're on the bottom right hand corner of my youtube channel banner and the links are on the link tree you'll be automatically entered so like i said if you have questions ask me if you're looking for a video ask me if you need a link to anything ask me i'm happy to help you so 
I will tell you guys I love you again, and I'll see you and on. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression and Start Studio Gallery. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And I will torch in a minute again, one more time, to make sure there are no bubbles caught in the, in the paint. Bye for now. Priscilla out.